Wow. <laughs> Here, my you're face turning red. is on fire right now. Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul Cook and Review Special Edition. Because we are at the Tickle Toad today, Ooh. and Paul's going to teach you guys how to make a hot sauce with a whole bunch of different kinds of peppers. Yeah. And we want to make a disclaimer first. Uh, don't touch your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> number one, don't touch it. Number two, because we're at the Tickle Toad, and this is going to be very toxic for our eyes and nose, he has the ventilation. So just giving you guys a heads up. Are you ready to go? Yeah, if you're doing it, do it outside or outside sure in your it's backyard. Well ventilated because it will. It's gonna be potent. Yeah, it's potent. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, what's first, Paul? First, I have to put some rubber gloves on. <laughs> so I got some uh, peppers from my wife's cousin. It's kind enough to make a donation to the cause. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Oh, smell you smell the bag Snap, scratch gotcha. sniff I think that the paper bag has absorbed the, the scent of the peppers oh gosh oh so I got some pre-made garlic butter I'm just gonna put some in just a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start you can cut and seed but I don't want I want the seeds I want the heat so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the stems and we obviously have a different blend of breeds of peppers because I think uh, I think it was Ghost, Reaper, and Scorpions. One Mississippi. <laughs> Look at that. Oh! Ah, oh, I just saw it. Look at it. A stem made its way in. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Gloves off. Yeah, usually what if I'm if I'm doing this, I, I do other things. I'll just set this and leave it. And then I'll I'll stir it every once in a while. I've got it on high heat so I can't leave it. But what I can do is in between I can drink coffee. That might work. Ooh. Now this, see the, this vapor coming up on that? You want to make sure that's going out the bed. Because once it starts cooking, like when pepper is sitting in a bowl, they're not going to be breathing in. But once it starts to release its uh, its demon powers, that's when it'll make you cry. <laughs> I'm just going to mix that around. That's why I say if you can you can actually have all your peppers in a bowl. This is the easy way because once you cut and seed, you're, you're releasing the oils from the pepper and that's the, the heat. So right now we're just popping off the stem. You, we kind of do it with bare hands because but it, once you pull the stem out, you're releasing, you just want that on your hands. Right. Got it? Yeah. So you can throw this actually on a barbecue and just let, let it be. Saute them. This is a safer way. And if you're outside, then you're not, you'll smell outside, you'll be like, oh. Yeah. Actually, my nose is starting to tingle. Yeah, so if you put your head over the thing and, and inhale that, and, and the more it starts to break down. Oh, yeah. Danger. Mm. Oh, that, whoa. Yeah, it's gonna get bad. So once this is cooked right down, I'm gonna add vinegar, a little bit of salt and sugar. This for a very basic sauce. And then immersion blender, puree it, and then it's done. Let it cool. I think I'm starting to sweat now. Just from, I can smell this now. Look at it, it's starting to. So could you technically do this without actually cooking it? By just pureeing it? Yeah, some of the, yeah, you can puree. Yeah. I like I like to do this. You like to cook it, but you don't have to. Because this is my basic one, because I always experiment different flavors. So gar like I well, I've used garlic butter, but garlic, cilantro, I'll use different like orange juice, like I'll use different fruits and just get you know, the sweetness of stuff and and then people will be like, oh I like that one, I like that one, hit feedback. And of course, peppers will all yield a different heat, different flavor as well. So right now, I've got a, I've got mixed peppers. I don't know how. I know they're hot, but I don't know how hot they are until I try the sauce. I think the next uh, special edition cook and review should be you making a jerk sauce. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. I'd, I'd love to try like a uh, homemade jerk chicken. See, I should have, I should have saved some of these peppers. Oh, would you make it from? Well, I would jerk add sauce in, from this, or would you make well, it from I would, a different kind of pepper? Well, habanero. Habanero. 
but this would make a hotter jerk. I don't I want a hotter jerk, I want a good tasting. Yeah, but I love the flavor of this. <laughs> that is cold, man. How's that, Ken? It's great. It's getting now. What if it hurt if you splashed it in your eye? Oh uh, yeah, I think it would. That would destroy somebody's house. Yes. No, we did. Remember, we did the habanero sauce at home. I remember how bad that was, how strong that was. We were coughing. I mean, the ventilation's so strong, so it's you're standing almost beside it, unless you get right over it. That's bad right here, where I'm standing. Is it? Yeah. See, they're all collapsing now, getting soft. So they're all softened up pretty good. I got vinegar, I'm gonna add a touch of salt. I always use sugar, it, it, not a ton. But I would probably put about the same as I did with uh, salt. We got a floater. I got. Oh, oh. Thing or whatever, because if that shoots up in your eye, it's going to hurt and make you cry. Woo! Oh. Stand over there. Chef, aren't you supposed to like stick your finger and like take a test? Oh! <laughs> Some water. Water? Yes, I don't want it. That's it's straight very thick. This, no, this uh. Moonshine. That, that's a tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found it was a little thick. So this is nice. Oh, she smells hot. And that's it. We're uh. Do a shooter. Oh no. Shooter. Now we're gonna let that cool. That'd be the shooter of death. Try a bit on a spoon? Nope. You're kidding. I'm not taking a spoonful, I just wanna. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a, a... Oh, that's hot. Oh boy. I'm gonna really start sweating. Wow. <laughs> you're, My you're face red. is on fire right now. Oh. oh. My head Your is soaked are already. Watering. Woo! That's good. Death on a spoon. Oh, that's what you could call it. Damn, that's good. All right, guys. Paul wanted me to try it too, so here we go. Uh, is that enough? No, no. Put some more. More? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, no, I just swallowed. Yeah, I do for that. It was like instant searing pain. Yeah, that's... Now it's attacking the very back of my throat. Yeah, why is that? Yeah, I won't be putting too much of that on my breakfast. Paul, I actually feel sick. Do you? Yeah. I actually feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh, that's how strong that is. Yeah, I might dilute that down. I, I seriously don't think I'm gonna vomit. Really? Like my, I, I can't even smell that right. My stomach is actually pushing up right now. That's, pro that's probably f for me to react to that like that. Like I'm not the best at hot sauces but for it, that little bit that I did to make me want to vomit that's how hot <laughs> it is oh my gosh alright guys there you go that was the mega death hot sauce by Paul 
Uh, if you want to see more of those, please leave a comment in the comment section below as to what other things you'd like to see Paul make sauce-wise. I was thinking possibly like a jerk, sure. jerk recipe, not too hot. So if you like that video and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit the subscribe button that's somewhere on this page. But if you want to show your support to this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Ken and Paul out. Boop. Boop.